Hi, Akash. Hello, Alor. How are you doing? How are you? I'm fine. How are you doing? Fine as usual. Hello, Taylor. Hello. Hey, Taylor. Hey, nice Lucina. Let's give it a, another minute here to have folks join. I've dropped a link to the meeting notes. Um, Zoom chat. All right, let's get started. So um, let's start it like this. So this is the CNF working group. We meet weekly. Um, I know folks here already know this. Uh, important thing, this call is being recorded and we upload the videos to YouTube. So if you have an issue with the recording or don't want to share something, then please take that in mind. Um, we actually had, for some reason, uh, the last video got pulled by YouTube uh, from the last session, which is kind of frustrating. It was a good session. Maybe it was the one before. But um, anyways, we can get started. So please add your name and any agenda items to the shared notes. I'm going to share that screen if I can. I think I did. So there's a cloud native focused virtual conference that Telcom TV is putting on in September. It's probably an interesting one for us um, to have some folks attending and um, maybe pulling some information back from there. It'd be good if we can get directly engage the working group, uh, maybe for some future ones, if we can see it. Uh, submit CFPs. Mm. Scheduled announcement. Um, let's see. One summit regional day. 
this is, I guess, like a co-located event for one summit is going to be at the Open Source Summit Europe in September as well. Uh, CFPs are already closed. If you have folks available for that, probably be another good one to attend. I'm not sure what the virtual is, but I imagine that at least the one summit usually has some way to be engaged with that. Um, all right. Um, this Nefio Developer Summit. Victor, do you have any input on that one? Yes. Uh, basically, um, Lucy sent us a uh, form to go for two particular weeks. Um, one of the weeks is, is making conflict with um, the one summit. Um, so I guess, so I don't, I'm not sure if she's going to change um, the, the options, but um, if I remember correctly, it's like um, since it's September. Um, so I don't know if uh, it is September 11 or something like that. I was just looking for the emails where, where she was making on the form for, for both. But yeah, it's, it's um, like uh, the first week and maybe the second week of September. Um, but we are still deciding which date. The, the, the only thing that is not going to change probably is going to be the location, which is in the um, uh, Google offices, Sunnyvale. But yeah, we, we haven't decided like exactly the dates on, on that. All right. Um, well, we've we were talking about before doing a I, and I guess we submitted a CFP actually for highlighting best practices from FIO. And I know that we're wanting to look at things that we could pull into the working group around deployment, um, GitOps patterns, configuration, best practices that are in KPT and stuff. So it might be something uh, if, if you can find out some more info about it i'd like to consider being more directly involved in that one okay um kcd texas probably because i'm i'm located in Austin, Texas. I may look into doing this one. It's a, a probably about a four hour drive, but um, I'll let folks know if we're going to do like a CFP or something. It'd be related to what we're doing. Okay. Um, so a, about KubeCon Chicago. Since we have the Cloud Native Telco Day co-located events now officially happening, um, we haven't been promoting or trying to organize the Telco community event after. Um, we're partly because we're playing a little catch up on the Cloud Native Telco Day. We thought it wasn't happening and then it got enough going that they decided to make it happen. So uh, we needed to focus on getting that together, the program committee and CFPs and everything else. What, what do you think as far as trying to have anything else um, for this event? I feel like there was a lot more happening and people wanting to do more in the EU. So that's partly why we push for the community event. There was an overflow, people couldn't sign up for KubeCon and that sort of thing. 
do we need to is there a big desire to have a cloud native telco community um, in the afternoon like we had before mm, from my perspective was a really good success uh, i mean um, but yeah that happened in europe in europe so i don't know if that is going to be the same the same right. But, but maybe we can do start doing a survey in the flag channel and try to collect some some feedback from from there maybe i don't know okay um Just to ask a question taylor like so i i didn't i didn't attend uh eu so i mean generally what would you see these community i mean i get it i'm just wondering like kind of how it might be used is it like kind of okay we're all we're actually here physically together let's do some of the work that we typically do or would you see it just being additional topics that would be outside of like the cloud native telco day i mean i realize that the cloud native telco day is a little less it's kind of you know it's a set of talks um where the community is maybe more discussions uh is that kind of the thinking more towards have you done any unconferences no so a little bit uh, less structured. So the Cloud Native Telco Day is uh, just structured presentations, set times. Everybody needs to get done within those times and move off the stage. Uh, for the community, you know, we could set up whatever, but we did have a, a amount of time set for what was supposed to be lightning talks, like five minute type talks so you're just going through and then we had a good amount of the time that was just open discussion which could dig into it one topic one of them was um, a networking related topic that came out of uh, power dns talking about the issues with the current networking and kubernetes and so that kind of dug into some things so it would be something like that probably i think the other the other good thing that we have in the gathering event was like the, the opportunity to hear from uh, project leads about projects like silva and nefayo and they did a quick overview and they were like i i, I don't know what is the name of those sessions like ask me anything about uh, in this particular care about uh, Silva and, and Nefayo. So it was nothing prepared for them. So people were just asking general questions, requirements, and uh, more, more, more close discussion about those, those things. I think so. That's, that was a good plus in my, from my point of view. Yeah, I think there's, I mean, I guess without doing too much thinking, I'm, I'm sure there's a number of, you know, potential interesting discussions that could be part of that community gathering. So, mm -hmm. um, and to your point, I mean, there's a lot of different, I, I almost in my head think, you know, all these different initi initiatives and sort of, I don't want to call it aligning them, but, you know, just kind of understanding what everyone's doing and what, what you know, because it, it, there, there's no shortage of different efforts. Um, and just kind of understanding how they relate to each other that i think that's a that could be very useful because to your point i mean i can i can almost take silva as an example where if you if you look at silva and pointing it's pointing back to things like anakit and lfn it's pointing back to cnf test suite it's pointing to nephew even though there may not be you know at the moment maybe not anything concrete because we've obviously you know just you know release one is just kind of being finished up but i think there's a lot of intentions to leverage things from there um so there is a implicit some kind of relationship between them it would be good to to sort of sound out some of that and how you know in other words basically how do you help each other uh in your different uh, objectives you know how do you how do you help align that and, and the thing oliver is, is you're not only the the one who are suffering with all these, these the same questions right <laughs> yep yeah no i know i mean uh, you know and and i'm 
I don't want to I don't want to sidetrack the conversation, but as an example, I mean, if you read, you know, Selva and they talk about a CNF certification, then you kind of go, oh, there's another place to go certify. Whereas, but they're pointing to the CNF certification, uh, cert CNF test suite as an example. So then you go, well, you know, how can you know? Does a discussion in the community maybe help? How do we, again, you know, leverage some of the things that we do have, so you're not, you know, avoiding to repeat or redo things. Um, I think that could be it. And I'm not saying that's the only topic, but it could be certainly useful to yeah. try to see how all of these things are are fitting and how we can help each other, right? Because I mean, at some point, Nephew will have a conformance program. And, you know, in my head, I think, well, they're, they're, fo they're focusing slight on different things than, you know, what's a good CNF, but they probably intend to say, you know, we're, we're trying to orchestrate, deploy and orchestrate and manage the, you know, CNFs as well as the infrastructure. Um, how do how do we leverage stuff that's being done already within the open source community, right? Like for example, pointing to the CNF certification, saying you know that's a, a prerequisite, you know, to any conformance program within NFEO might you know for for CNFs could be leveraging what the CNCF is offering today. I, I mean, these are the kind of things that would be interesting to have a conversation around, I guess. Absolutely, yeah. I guess the answer is yes, Taylor. It could be interesting. Um, I don't know how many other people, you know, who uh, my I, matrix is intending to participate. Um, working, I, I'm actually meeting this week with uh, Sam from Engineering to start talking, you know, to to basically formulate our submission. But you know, we may have some additional attendees as well. So I mean, we probably will be a vendor that's part of those conversations or that community meeting if there is one. All right, so we, um, you know, I'm I'm asking now so that we can start really thinking about it. We didn't have much uh, response to the form that we put out about the telco gathering. We were sending it out to quite a few places for a few weeks, um, trying to get response and, and interest for that, but there was very little response. Um, and then we just stopped. I, I think, in fact, the form might be taken down now because of uh, we switched to focus on Cloud Native Telco Day. I want to make sure that we get a lot of people there and ideally we get sponsors for Cloud Native Telco Day. Uh, and the other part would be if we're focused on the Cloud Native Telco Day and make sure it's successful, which is, um, I think, if if it's successful, then we get more we get more focus from KubeCon and everything else. So I think that could even if we're going to have a telco gathering, it's we want to make sure it's successful. The other part though is doing the telco gathering is means it's all on us. By us, I mean not KubeCon. So, uh, you know, Victor helped a little bit and, and Tom with when we were talking about this is a working group. So what is a format we want? But the idea for the gathering is completely up to us. We don't have the Linux Foundation event team or anything else. Uh, last time Volk sponsored it, we found the location, uh, doing research, figuring out like where can we be, what's available, what's large enough, what's within a reasonable walking distance. So we'd need to do the same thing. If it's something where people are gonna have to drive in Chicago, I, I think it would, be more likely to be a I'll just call it a failure that people are going to go we, we were able to find something where we had a large group in fact it was overflow Oliver at the gathering in EU uh, more than what we allocated for luckily the place was fine with um, helping with that but We'd need to do the same thing. So I'd I'd want to see like, do we have a very strong interest if if we're going to put the effort out? And then does anyone want to help with that effort? Whether it's you know helping some with the cost, helping some with finding places, whatever we want to do to make that happen. Yeah. 
Uh, I'm curious because I mean, if I, uh, two, I guess two questions. One is where do we like? So, for example, it sounds like EU was very successful. Um, did you were you able to sort of uh, estimate that you were going to have that kind of? I, it sounds like the answer is no. But I, my my question is just for for helping me. Did we were we able to estimate that there was going to be a high turnout? In other words, I guess right now you're saying that what we've and I'm I'm trying to remember which mail this was or where where you were announcing, but I probably did not respond to the you know the the community event you know survey. Uh, I'm guilty, but you know my, I guess I'm trying to understand where do we generate the interest from, right? Because this group is fairly small, um, you know, and it sounds like there's a fair amount of work, but where would we generate that interest for the community gathering? I mean. It, it, CNF working group, what are the other places where we could generate interest? I mean, there, there's tons. We of had, so we had a, um, I guess going back to answer the first part, we had enough response on the forms, the Google form that we put out to indicate that we we would have a, a large enough group to make it an interesting gathering you know yeah. if it's going to be victor and and you oliver then i'll just say let's just go meet for lunch <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah yeah well um, i yeah exactly I, I get that that's i guess what i'm and i'm i'm the, the form that you sent out where, where and again just remind me where did we where did we basically put this out i mean it's essentially through slack primarily without me going back and and looking and lucina might be able to just say but i would think it was on twitter it was on linkedin it was on um slack and it was on emails yeah so we canvassed pretty much all the good places to go yeah and, and, and i mean the, you know the other part would be you know oliver if if you post it on your linkedin and your twitter yeah, uh, and we get other people to do this. Uh, Victor has, um, you know, done a lot of retweets, and I know Lucina retweets for other folks. Uh, you've probably seen it even for Matrix posting stuff. So yeah. that sort of thing would get it, but you know, we need to market it wherever you think. If <clears throat> you think here's a place to market it, Oliver, then then we do it. Yeah. No, and I and I'm mainly trying to, you know, just from my, get my head around, you know, like, I mean, it's summertime right now, you know, are people thinking currently right now about, you know, KubeCon? I mean, they should be right. But I mean, generally speaking, I guess people start thinking seriously about when they're all coming back from vacation. So um, it sounds like we went out with this, um, you know, in good time. I'm just wondering if we didn't get response, not if the reason why people didn't respond was not because they're not interested, but it's just you know, like so far away and then they've kind of just forgotten about it. You know what I mean? Maybe. I don't, I don't know. Um, I don't need, I don't my, need my, so one thought that I have, and I, I guess, uh, you know, everyone can say what their experience is. I've seen more response from the EU telco related orgs, mm. vendors, everybody, than I have from those in Americas okay. um, just in general I mean mm -hmm. like I you know you look at telecom TV there's a lot of it but that's not like real visible I'm, I'm saying to conversations like what we're having mm -hmm. but whenever we did a you like the Silva stuff that was mentioned and then having these good Silva conversations it was a ton of people from different groups like Orange and other places just did that you know and then we had a bunch of other groups that came in and you know i don't i don't know what that's about but that's just what i've i've seen and i don't know if we're posting to the wrong places maybe you know people are there i'd like to get all the there's a lot of america's based telco companies that are involved with lfn and we are trying to increase by the way oliver like direct some direct collaboration on the LFN, we've been having uh, more conversations. But if there's a place where they are, you know, and we can get it there in front of 
these other yeah. groups, then maybe they're just not saying it. Yeah, I, that's why they're not responding. I mean, my guess is, yeah, I think you, you know, I think you, you know, I think we've hit a lot of the the places that I would, you know, at least for me. I mean, I don't, I don't have any new. Uh, any idea oh how did you not post here you know what I mean it's not that I'm, it wasn't any critique either I just I'm just trying to get my head around whether or not you know is it's is it because it was too early or you know because most people don't you know like like to be given plenty of time right but but uh it may have just it may be that people it was too far out I don't know and then the other thing is to your, I think what you just mentioned you know if we if we were to would we could we potentially do it again and if we did then I think maybe coordinating where we actually do help you know specific you know companies can help retweet re you know reshare um certainly I know matrix would be happy to do that normally um I just got to get out in front of it and make sure that people know it's coming and then they can work on it um but yeah all right so I mean and that's gonna that's basically gonna answer the question whether or not we there's enough interest right because otherwise it's you know we're not going to grab the interest strictly from people this call that's not going to be enough to to motivate a community gathering then it's just a taylor lucina victor or whatever uh let's meet up for coffee afterwards and go that route yeah, um just two things so uh number one we don't actually know if cloud native telco day is morning or afternoon yet <laughs> so that could be um you know some difficulty in trying to organize this um it worked out really well with the co-working space that we found to do afternoon because then you know they're definitely going to be there uh time wise but how do you do a morning one and and is that going to be convenient for people to go off of the conference area and then come back and sign in or whatever? So we got to figure that out. Uh, the second thing is just cost on this. Uh, so there's there's a cost for the gathering, and then there's the time to help with things. If if you know we can get some commitment from some folks to help with whatever marketing it um trying to find a location just whatever all the logistics are um, and then cost so cost in eu was i think it was i i don't remember the exact but it all of this would be under a grand for the total if we're talking like space and we we got a drink tickets or whatever for people to use you know you could use it on coffee or whatever they had wine whatever they had so it, this would be kind of like your your after uh evening type event as well that's where we were trying to make it where it made it a little bit more informal and loosen things up in the conversations I, I i think that format worked well like victor was saying as well so Anyways, that's what we'd be looking at. We don't know what it's going to be in Chicago, um, but I don't think we're talking about this is going to be five or ten thousand. This is going to be, in my opinion, for most orgs and helping on that, would be a low cost type thing. Putting yep. it out there to keep in mind, and if someone says, "Yeah, we can help," or we'll foot yeah. the whole bill, then that's. <laughs> It's yeah. it's a little bit different from, um, you know, this. I we can't say this is the same thing as sponsoring the Cloud Native Telco Day, which is going to get, you know, you're going to have sponsors that are going to be shown on, like, different websites and related to KubeCon, and so when things come up on that, and of course that's one of those costs more, uh, but you get a lot of other benefits there which are still one, of course. Anyways, um, we'll maybe look in and, and take a, a little bit of look and, and see what we think that gathering could be. And maybe we find out more about if it's the half day telco is in the morning or afternoon, if we can figure that out. I think we should move on though, conversations and then come back to this and y'all just maybe Oliver go think about it internally and if talk to some folks if we can get some interest or then we'll move forward on it. 
same for you, Victor. If 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 you can think of some ways to either market or gather some interest where we need to post. Sure, sure, no problem. Um, what? Okay, so do we need to close this? What is two forty seven? Um, oh, I just just put it because uh, someone was making a comment. Uh, probably he was trying to get. Uh, um, maybe he was trying to work on one of the um, on this particular issue. Oh. So I guess I guess uh, he was uh, mentioning that everything has been moved. So maybe. So user stories, use case, and CB boobies. Let's go take a look at that. All right. That looks fine to me. Uh, I can close it, maybe. Yeah, can you close it for me? I'm on a sure. new phone. I don't want to mess with that right now. Mm -hmm. I think you should be able to check mark all of these two to do's, but mm. I, can't, I can't do it till I logged in. You should be able to as an editor, an admin on the repo. Okay. Yep. I can. Okay, I just updated and let me close it. Okay, now it's closed. All right. <laughs> and the next the next thing, um, well, last last week I was reading about. Uh, one article about comparing unikernels with um, containers. And one of the major things that catch my attention was um, that basically the, the unikernels, one of the fantasies that you can do uh, for just focus to one single process. So um, that particular thing captured my attention and uh, that's what I brought to, to the group, like um, where we have the one process type or category per, per, per container. I'm not sure if you can also consider like unikernels in this particular discussion. Um, I think Rich made a good point about like, uh, well, maybe it's a good point, but uh, but the, if, if we know like uh, in, in someone is using unikernels to develop CNF and Fortunately, I, I found this uh, other article, like a uh, or like a paper, and in this particular paper was uh, exploring that um, that use case. They were using unikernels to develop a, a CNF, um, just just presenting the results, like a, like a, the, the performance results, like a, the benefits, the the, the, the different um, unikernels uh, frameworks that they use for for achieving that CNF. Uh, and even they were calling like, uh, this, making the distinction between unikernels in bare metal versus unikernels on, on a VM. Um, I, think, I think it was good uh, paper to read it. Um, so probably, probably the, the question is still, um, it's still going like uh, so. Should I include all this information in the issue that we have open as a expansion or extending? Not only consider containers for for C for the CNF, also consider like the use case for unikernels, and I don't know if also make the distinction between unikernels and CNF or or, or just like a or just consider CNF in general, even unikernels.
it's it seems like it's a um maybe a a use case or a, maybe. or a context where you're doing it and then we talk about how that's affected um if you're doing it i don't i mean i don't I, do you have a specific example where you're using a unikernel and then how that would be used oh that that example you know? i found in, in this particular article in the last link if you uh -huh. click on the and click up on that can one you share the please. screen and maybe that way you can share the article and go down to the section that you think is important. I opened it on a different screen, but I'm not sure what you're referring to. Yeah, that that PDF, like uh, the, the uh -huh. last, it, it is the article that I found, like uh, where they yeah, were. Just, you know. Go ahead and share your screen and then scroll down to the section you're talking about. Okay. Just let me share my screen. Okay, um, well, all these things are like, um, all this introduction is just making, um, is, is just providing context, like uh, uh, trying to understand the performance and they were using um, two, two specific cases like BCP and EBP. C and saying like a EPC requires more performance and that's why they try to um, base this article in in the the path, in the core network um, use case. So in the core core network use case, they were like um, talking about especially performance and obviously isolation and, and all the problems like uh, what. Uh, containers can have in this person or like all this evolution. So, and eventually um, they introduce um, unikernels uh, in the picture and they were saying, well, unikernels can be benefit like to use in the, especially in, in core network because it has a good performance, it has good isolation and, and then, the, in, in this particular section of the article, like uh, they were discussing about performance, um, well, performance and how they achieve that. So I mentioned before, they were saying like, uh, for Unicron, they split in two particular scenarios where they have the, uh, those Unicron running on top of a VM or on top of a bare metal. And they were using a different, um, Acronym for 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 those um, to make a more terminal terminology on this, and um, and obviously doing a small use case uh, or run a, a benchmark where, where they were just getting these these graphs. And the interesting thing, they were at least mentioning few of the technologies that they were using. Uh, I think uh, one of them is uh, this one, include OS, and giving a little bit pros and cons. They didn't dig too much of that, but at least they at least um, they, they 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 put some conclusions on that, like saying, well, this technology we use this and we perform um, this uh, small scenario. So I think. For a, a quick overview on remote possibility, that article gives a little bit um, introduction. Probably it's not very, very technical or very deep on, on the analysis. But I start exploring like the possibility to use unikernels in the telco space, um, and obviously exposing why why they wanted to do uh, why why they consider like unique as a, a good alternative. The, the, when I try to investigate especially to include OS, it's not that very easy to replace like that because I guess include OS requires that you application is written in C or C++, I don't remember exactly. 
and there is a lot of attempts to provide unical frameworks. So, so even when they they explore that, I still feel like a, it's a little far to go in terms of implementation or real real real, real use cases. Okay, so that's it. pretty much. Oh. So it, it seems like um, there may be, and I did, I'm not saying it in here, just best practices on when you're building UNFs that could be, I mean, the idea of a UNF uh, for VMs has been around for a pretty long while. Um, I was seeing it in Zen and stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. And it seems like there would be best practices that maybe we could look at and then I want to uh, adopt, uh, adjust maybe is another word, uh, to, to look at them for maybe inspiration of what would be in a CNF. It doesn't seem like they're all directly translatable. Uh, some of the stuff in the article is maybe not cloud native, but how to how you would run uh, UNS in general. Yeah, probably that's that's my point. Like, uh, I mean, I don't know if we haven't considered like UNF on the on, on the scope of the, the group. Uh, so the first question is: Should we? need to include it as part of the, the best practices, the best cases, whatever. And if the, if the answer is yes, like which one do we have to um, consider, like which part of the discussions or like which uh, use cases maybe, or best practices. Um, yeah, because probably this, is, this was just maybe just like a, a study nothing, maybe just an academic paper, nothing really good real world, or at least like mentioning the idea or like pointing to someone who can explore more in that particular path could be, could be a good, good thing, I think so. I, I would like um, the use cases and user stories are fine. Um, I, ideally, we could have a, a, a UNF example to be able to explore versus just the general idea of a UNF. But if we could say, here's a UNF that would be used or is being used for a specific telco use case. The, the ones that come to mind or what would come to mind for me, and you know, I don't know if it's out there, but would be something for like a, a RAN. Um, but I don't know about other, you know, what other, what would be a CNF that's using a unikernel? Um, the private 5G stuff seems like a place where you would maybe use it, but I, I don't know of an actual example. Here's a real thing that's using it. Yep, which maybe has the unique uh, requirements for, for doing that, like probably security requirements or performance requirements. It's just unique for that particular use case. Right. Anyway, uh, I just brought the topic because I don't know, I found interesting. Uh, if if you, you also consider like, uh, you can also provide your feedback or try to investigate about the topic and, uh, and maybe, 
scenario, we, we can expand it. Sounds good. Um, let's see, on the, the best practice that we were drafting one process per category, I think that Oliver, you may have added some comments. Yeah, they're they're minor comments, but um, yeah, they're minor comments. They they should be fairly. Are those directly in the Google Doc? Yeah. I don't think that comment is controversial because I, I just I'm thinking back to the issue. This is the draft, obviously, but um, you know the draft is the CNF's container should have one process category, you know, in parentheses type. So maybe here in the summary that we should be just because it says only one process or set of parent-child processes per container. I'm just thinking if we can make it even more clear by saying you know it's one process type or category. You know, I don't know. I'm just. It just when I read it, I just go, oh, is someone going to comment on this later who may not have read the issue? Oh, yeah. That's probably sufficient. And then I had only one other comment, I think, which was um, <clears throat> uh, do, 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 do. yeah. You can close that comment if you want to, because that, that makes sense to me. Um, and then the other one is um, was just there's some sentence. Am I wrong? Is this a template that we, or did we take a previous best practice and, and there's some stuff left in here from the old one that we're removing as we're going? This one? Yeah, so there's, uh, it, in the, you know, the, the heading there is motivation. So the best practice benefits, you know, I think the first paragraph or first sentence, uh, you know, makes sense. But the next two are more like, talking about how it's testing and I didn't really understand if that really needs to be part of the motivation maybe there's a I know this is a testing uh I forget what the section down below called, it's not called purely testing it's called testing something else I have to go look at it but um I'm just thinking those next two sentences probably don't belong here at least I don't understand why they would be motivation um so probably better would just be um I don't know how to what color this should be, but I'm going to make it blue. <laughs> um, yeah. That's that's actually too hideous even for my own eyes. Um, how about that one? So this should all be, and I, I think I just put it here, replace the Lorem Ipsum filler content. So this is all filler content. Okay. Um, all content, all example content from another a different best practice. So all of this is from a previous best practice. So none of it is for this one. Um, so the reason why this would be, and I, that's the first part. This is all just example content. All of it should be replaced with something that's real, uh, directly relevant to this practice. And then the other part was, why is this section here? So for the other best practice, it was a motivation. So the reason why this is a motivation is on an SC Linux based system. So Red Hat OpenShift, you're expected to drop root privileges. So any SC Linux based environment, whatever that would be, 
is going to expect the containers to drop root privileges. So if you're designed to not use root privileges, then you're going to be more ready to run on those systems. So that's a motivation yeah. with regard to that one. Understood. That's all. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, it's all for motivation. Do I need to say anything or are you good? I'm good. I'm going to resolve it then. But we do need to replace it. Um, we got six minutes. Anyone have a thoughts on writing the motivation and I, I know there's content el elsewhere or anything else we want to add content and get this closed out really is what we want to do and move on um no i will try to take a look and provide my my feedback on that all right If there's a practice that's like aligned with what you're doing daily, your main work or whatever, then here's something that we are trying to get people to adopt because we we found it to be a good thing. Then please put that forward. It's I think it's easier to get something finished if if it's already something that you care about on your daily or it's a challenge that you're trying to get resolved um this one was related to microservice best practice adoption like how do we get that forward and that's why this was getting put forward i i do want to complete it i think we have enough content that you know we just need to put the effort in but for other best practices, and Oliver, this, you know, you, you were asking at Matrix, like what would be of interest to contribute? And I I don't want to just point you all at a specific, here's, we got a bunch of issues, but if there's something specific where y'all are, here's an area where we really care about and let's, you know, it could be, highlighting something that y'all find relevant, then that would be a best practice that maybe we can focus on. And maybe there's some existing, but if we don't have one, then it could just be an idea put forward. I know, Victor, we've been talking about the deployment practices and stuff. So maybe that should be the next one that we start working on a draft. If we can go find a KPT or a GitOps pattern or something that we, start writing about all right um does anyone have anything else um no that, that's it Have a good day, everyone, and we'll see you next week. All right. See you next week. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.